Good morning, everyone. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm not exactly sure how we can explain what's about to happen, but let's just say that today is going to be interesting. Our ride's hey, here. I think our ride's here. You guys weren't kidding. How you doing? Good. Good to meet you, Ben. Ben, nice, nice to meet you, Ben. You. Hi, Ben. How are you, you doing? Ben. Nice to meet you. Yeah, well, uh, we'll just get your life jackets ready. One of my guys will take you through a brief on the boat, and then we'll get going. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just do life jackets. Oh, yeah. All your life Perfect. All right. Shall we? Oh, don't worry. Got the military ones. <laughs> Switching us into the uh, where shall I see <laughs> civilian version. It's been headed back out to Haitian and Albion, uh, six of the ago. system that we use on our boat. Just get <laughs> hoisted up on the side of the ship. <laughs> it's like I'm in the what was the name of the things when you go up in the Ferris wheel? Yeah. Like, Spinning round and round. Yeah. Show you around and everything. Yeah, so that we don't get lost yeah. in this labyrinth. You're in the flying cabins. Oh. So you've got a cabin each, a little sweet each. Oh, the officer's cabin. This well, you're living in the wardens' throughout. So this is one of the cabins here. This is us? Yep. So. This whole thing? Yep, the whole thing is oh for one goodness. of you. So, oh, sorry, this is one of your bags there. Good lord. Look how fancy this is. We just made it into our cabin, which is pretty cool. But the funny thing is that they put us in two different cabins because. The beds are, as you can tell, not that big, but <laughs> we're gonna have a little bit of a separation anxiety. <laughs> Hi. You wanna come over? I'm lonely. We live in a small, tiny boat. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> totally. There's totally space. <laughs> totally space for both of us in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
We've slept in smaller spaces before. I think it'd be very sad if we had to sleep in separate beds. By the way, we are apparently spending the night on this boat tonight and also spending tomorrow night on this boat because tomorrow they're gonna be running drills all day and we're, we're gonna, gonna be part of it. Part of that. <laughs> We have a bathtub. Look. Bathtub. And. Like it's bigger than a hotel bathtub. And Peter said that we're definitely welcome to use it. So I'm gonna take a bath on a battleship. <laughs> it's one of, it's one of three bathtubs on the boat. One's in my cabin, one's in Kika's cabin, and the third bathtub is in the captain's cabin. So we feel pretty special. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> And then we have our own little lounge area, you know, to lounge in. We have perfect view of the outside. A fruit basket. Oh yeah. And we have a view out to the harbor. Oh, by the way, they made a special schedule sheet just for us. Very military. So we're meeting in like 30 minutes. We're meeting up with the, the crew. That was fun. That's really cute. We feel so special. Oh my gosh. Din Deckard and Kika Mess from the YouTube channel Sailing Uma. <laughs> well, that, now we're officially official. Okay, so here, here's what it says. <clears throat> Din Deckard and Kika Mess from the YouTube channel Sailing Uma have been invited on board to experience life on board the fleet flagship. They will have the opportunity to, uh, to observe live gunnery, landing craft operations, and receive tours of each department. This will be a chance for personnel sh to show off how HMS Albion does her business and talk about life at sea in the RN. What's RN? Real? Royal Navy. Oh, Royal Navy. Duh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. We've got a, a special introductory letter. I love it. Oh, man. You excited for the next two days? This is going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, we're spending two days on this boat. In case you were wondering, this is happening. Hello. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. It'll be good to show you in there at least, anyway. Yeah. What's up? How are you? It's obviously the bridge. But this is, a, this is basically the control room, right? Three key points on the ship. So you've got the bridge, obviously, where the ship is being conned and actually driven from. You've got the ops room then where the internal battle is actually being fought and then they liaise with the bridge and both the SCC, the SCC being the ship's control center, mm -hmm. um, where they're managing all the ship's actual engineering department is. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me down here with all the wind noise, but we're actually going out sailing on this ship. They're slipping the mooring lines now, and um, we're heading east, and then tomorrow they're gonna do some battle drills that we're gonna be able to film and sort of take part in, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got one chain off the mooring ball, and they're taking one more chain off now, and it's quite the procedure. It takes about two dozen guys and a couple of boats and a tugboat. It's a lot more complicated than just slipping the lines and sailing off like we're used to. And we're off into a beautiful sunset too. We're about to do a, a little drill test uh, on the boat and I get first look of the whole thing. This should be fun.
see it's right on the wake of, uh, yes. of the bird there. It mimics a person. You'll literally sit just ahead above the water. Well, we've only been underway for about 30 minutes and they've already started running the first drill. Man overboard drill, most important drill. They threw a uh, dummy overboard and the whole ship's doing a 180 while they launch a little tender into the water to go recover it. They've got cameras on it, they got people pointing on it, it's pretty impressive. So, Gates crew and on the senior ship department are now going to run down and they're going to launch the sea boat to go and record that. Definitely a little bit more complicated than how we do it on a sailboat, but still pretty cool. Same principles. Make sure you keep someone on watch pointing at the uh, guy in the water, spin the ship around, get back to him, get him on board, check for medical. Although, this is a massive battleship to play that game with. We usually have waves coming in. Hey, how was <laughs> it down there? That was intense. Cool action there. <laughs> But Fred is uh, safely back on board, and he's in the emergency room right now. He's with the medics, and hopefully he'll uh, he'll get through it. We have hope. How is it on the bridge? It's cool. I think it's a UK thing to call all your dummies Fred. Apparently, we're they're going to be running drills like all night long. Yeah. Uh, just finished a man overboard drill, and now. They're circling to wait to pick up a landing craft, and they're gonna. This boat, they can sink the back of the boat, it fills full of water, so they can bring in big landing craft and then suck all the water out and keep going. So they're gonna do that like in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. At some point, we're gonna have to go to bed. <laughs> He's just in a waiting station then until we're ready to call him in. <laughs> I want them by the ship's side. All right, we are back in our quarters. This was <laughs> this was a fun, long day. But, oh, fun fact, by the way, this is such a big boat that we have to, it's easy to get lost. So we found a little trick to find our room. We slipped the sticker in front of the door so that we remember what our room was so that we uh, don't get lost. It is quite late now and we have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. It doesn't even feel like we're moving. I know, it's weird, right? Yeah, it's very weird. I've never been on a cruise ship, so I don't know how a cruise ship feels. So this is kind of my experience of a cruise ship, but better because it's an actual battleship, so. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're so far just sort of motoring around in front of the Plymouth Sound while some of the Green Berets, the Marines, do some loading and unloading drills with the landing craft. It's really hard to, um, not be the captain of a ship, I guess. We're so used to like <laughs> being in control when we're out on the water and like knowing where we are and where we're going, what time it is and what depth it is. It's weird being a guest on board, but since we're inside, uh, we had to only have like this tiny little port light. We can tell it's dark outside. It's obviously nighttime. So it's a steel ship. There's no GPS signal in here, but I set the phone up on the port light. So 
<laughs> we can have navionics running. So, so at least we can tell like we what direction we're going, <laughs> what speed we're going. It's weird that this is our only our only window to the outside world. It's <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Apparently we're gonna witness some battle drills, some gunnery stuff, and get some more of a boat tour. It's pretty cool actually. Are you excited for tomorrow? Tomorrow's gonna be awesome. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm tired right. though. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>